Welcome back to Diablo 4. Right now, we are right here in the swamplands, right? You know, and we are looking for Katarina. I'm looking for a Katarina. Never heard of her. Really? So my oath, the purveyor tends to be a people person. No! What a scumbag, though, right? You know? <laughs> How can he be a people person? Hmm. Sunny, purveyor of curiosities. I'm looking for Katarina. Katharina? Oh, you mean Katharina Cresson. That old crone died when I was a child. More wrinkled than woman, they used to say. Well, she was burned and buried out back under the memorial wall. Mm, might be nice to stop by and pay respects. She don't get too many visitors. Man, that means... That man has Excuse been in me. that state for Have you seen this man? For so many years though. Kato. Looking for someone. Looking for a man. Regular around here. Name's Flynn. You seen him? Lean guy. Bald. Got a birthmark on his right arm. No? Damn. See, my crew is leaving port here real soon, but I got a debt to settle with Flynn. I ain't one for leaving loose ends untied. Especially to a place like Backwater. Ain't nobody gonna be holding nothing over my head. Flynn should have come back down the road up north days ago. Let's start by looking there. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. With me. You did not even ask me to... You know that I wanted that, though. Normally, I'd have done this sort of thing myself. But I'll walk barefoot into the burning hells before I go wandering the coast alone. Mm. But drowned out here are nasty creatures, and I ain't looking to join. Ah, oh, come on, Zell. Don't be that way. What's going on here? Tomai, I'm not missing her out. Tomai being not here. What's going on here, though, huh? Well, hey, stranger. Hey, you. Look at me. I'm not done talking to you. I'm looking at you. You're uh, as radiant as a backwater sunset. <laughs> this is serious shit, Tomai. We both know there are more and more drown sightings every day. Look, sweetheart. I'll do the work. Cross my heart. Damn right you will. Well, the next time I see you, I'm going straight to the boss. Hey, you. You're not from around here, are you? Listen, you help me out. I can help you survive in this place. Help me find any new bodies that have washed ashore. Check them for anything we could use. Then I'll burn them. And grab any extra salvage we find along the way. <clears throat> Got it? Uh-huh, so I do the dangerous oh, work with worry. pestilence and everything. But he will teach me how to survive. I highly doubt that, though. Knife throwing dummy. Okay, literally with countless knives. What's the scarred table? Okay, are you okay? Uh, that harsh glint beat me something bad. No, wait. I gotta show them that they can't walk all over me. Yeah, it's gotta be me. I just need you to get some wild red mushrooms from outside the walls. Ones what make you throw up. Find them for me, will you? I'd get thrashed by worse than Glyn if I go out there wounded. Alright, so this is a place of scum and villainy, right? Just like Washington DC. But the thing though is, let's just help him out. Let's just see how it goes, right? Oh, by the way, I have a new build that you do see. New build. Um, things are going rather automatic over here because of this little beauty there, right? You know, as you can see, as you can read, beautiful. Less stats, but that's all right with me. I'm not sure if I want to have the poison poodle. Poodle? Poodle. Poison poodle, can you imagine? But yeah, you know, like... We have to be careful though, right? If we want to have that, then it's over time. Or just the explosions. Flynn. Guess now we're even. Probably, yes. Alright, Kato. Th that drowned was Flynn. Sure was. Shame he 
looking at to go that way. Appreciate your help, though. What for? Oh, you mean Flynn. Don't be. These things tend to happen around here. You get used to it. You have to. Backwater ain't for the faint of heart. Oh, I should get going now. Here's something for your trouble. Your friend had the necromancer staff though, so I think you dodged the bullet there though, to be honest. Interesting, look at the massive statue here. But yeah, so far, it will pull everybody in. And, you know, we have the tendrils for that. But we also have the, the corpse explosion, which is very cool though. That turns into a goo. Sadly, it's not useful for me right now. Well, as you can see, there it is. Um, we kill way too quick, in other words, you know, that's that. But it's very cool though, and the explosions might be better for, for us right now, I'm not sure. Yeah. And they explode every one second, so that's a beautiful thing, right? Ah, oh, here we are. Nice. Finally got him. Alright, now let's go to old Katrina. I mean, I am very surprised that she died though. I thought she was still a little girl. And that means, wow, if she was a little girl back then. How old is she actually, right? Wow. Katrina Gravemarker. In memory of Katrina Crescent. Died at 68. She was a little girl, so around 8, 60 years later. Wow. Stubborn until the end, you never ask for help. Now you don't need to. Rest easy, you wrinkled bad. Alright, very nice. You respected her, man, you know. That's good. Oh, your boss wants to talk to me, huh? Who's the boss, though? Not you, though. Sunny? No. Just keep walking. Ah, here, Linda of Linden. You want to see me? I hear you've been making yourself useful. Might have a job for you. Last night, bandits got into town and stole from the community stockpile. I'm still looking into how. If you could get it back, you'd be helping me out. And Backwater, of course. This is Orton, my right-hand man. He'll accompany you. Handle this for me, and maybe I'll happen upon more work in the future. Hmm. Who are you? Nah, no interest. We will, well, we already kind of know who he is, though, or what he is, which is more important at times. There you are, big boy. Now that's a sickening bunch of mushrooms. But now I just gotta figure out how to slip them in green soup. You do that, though. You freak. <laughs> All right, now let's see. What do we have here? We have one here, then over there, then we can go there, then we can go there. Yeah, I think that's a nice little ring around the rosy, I suppose. I kind of have a feeling like the explosion works not as well with or both because it takes away the body, right? So if we are going to go instead from there to there where it's a blight, it pulls in. Maybe. Not sure. Do you believe him? No. Uh, Lyndon wouldn't do that. He's a scoundrel, but he wouldn't backstab. I mean, he would. Just not honest folk. Damn it. I think I recognized a couple of these guys from the docks. I, I, I need to clear my head. I'll see you back at Lyndon's. Yeah, and if he's a traitor like that, though, I'd put, an, uh, put something in his back, though, big boy. All right, there you go. Ah, it's her, Timur. 
Timur, why does this doll look like you? What is that? An effigy? Come over. Uh, let me see. Huh? This is just an ordinary doll. Why didn't you say so? Yeah. Well, it should look like me. It is me. I made this for someone. A child. Long ago. My child, perhaps? Yes. It was my child's. And she had one just like it that looked just like her too. Fitting that this one has been carried back to me by the swarm after all this time. Maybe someday it will bring her back too. That's a rather sad tale though. Timur, are you alright? I'll be fine. Just wore myself out. Packing to visit my neighbors. They've got it worse than me. Poor souls. Infected, forsaken. Left to wander the swamp until it takes them. Since you're here, help an old woman. Take these supplies to Baridan, to Raya, and Raldeen. Treat them kindly, or the swamp will hear of it. I'm not sure why I will be treating them bad though, but you never know, right? You never know. Maybe she's hiding something from us. Treat them kindly. I mean, it's like they might be demons, might be zombies, right? You know, the walking dead in general. Could be anything at this point. There we go. My boy, Duraya. You must be Duraya. I have supplies from Timur. He'll swallow it gladly. Never strays far from the old hag's hut. As for Raldine, who knows? I'm not his mother. Better stay in the swamp, though. The way how she looks, I don't think she is welcomed with open arms, though, right? With all those blisters and balls everywhere. Baridan, Timur sends supplies for you. I'm... Yes. Yes, I'm still Baridan. Thank you. And think him away from me. Without these herbs, the days pass like years. Don't be. This place can be rather peaceful once you get to know it. But enough of that. You should try to visit Rodin in the northeast. He's a good boy. All right. We all have the same disease of boils and blisters, right? Oh. Alright, interesting. Not sure what happened there, though, but... Did he hurt you? No. I... I was looking for my brother. He's sick, too. I've not seen him in days. I was afraid he'd grown roots. <laughs> they... They attacked me. Tried to take me somewhere. One of them mentioned the camp by the coast. If they took my brother... Don't worry. I'll look into it. Man, I'm like a social worker at this part, right? <laughs> you know? Hello, my name is Kurigo. And I'm a necromancer by trade. But as a hobby, I'm a social worker. I'm checking on on the week. And make sure that they are alright and in touch with their families. It is a very rewarding job, though. To see them smile. Your evil is done. Easy peasy lemon uh, squeezy. Wow, in fact the corpse is mangled beyond recognition. Ah. Good that they are gone. Just leave the people in the swamp be man. Swamp people for life, right boys? And here we oh, oh my god, I thought, like, who is this Scarlet Woman out of there, you know? <laughs> it's a player. Timur! Bandits, we're abducting them. Here's what I saw. And folk think we are monsters. There are men in this world who would take a dying boy, hack the source from his body, 
and sell them like herbs to the alchemists. But you've sated the swamp with their blood. <laughs> Go now. Live with our gratitude. And there we go. Oh, 102. Yeah, the levels are coming a little bit slower these days, right? Dexterity. No. I really want to unlock all of these right, you know. But we do need so much more to grind. Which is not a bad thing, though. Right? Not a bad thing at all. Oh, I was thinking of something. Like, we have all of this over here, which might be good. But what if we just unlock more? Right, you know? Hmm? And by that we can get more of these big boys. Stronger companions, etc, etc. We have one more. Alright, there we go, I suppose. Hoppa. And nice, nice, nice. I think what we are going to do first is go over here. <clears throat> and I should see the willpower. We don't have all of that though right now, but we will get it in time. And by these we go and go and go and become stronger. But we keep going, right? You know, everywhere. And in the meanwhile. All the passives do level up though. I think this is way smarter to do it. What do we have here? Do you know Thaisa? Maybe. What is going on here though? Ah, she was trapped by a spell gone wrong. Yeah, the dangers of being a mage, right? I'm... Are you alright, ma'am? I found your necklace. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll be all right. Goliath's ritual is just... draining. Only when meddled with by well-meaning but ignorant visitors... Have the voices quieted, Anita? Can you understand them yet? Oh, it still hurts when they speak. They all talk over each other. I'm sorry. We don't apologize for things outside our control. Hmm. Something still inflames your blood. There is only one thing left to try. Let me guess, though, huh? What must we do? It is ancient magic that should calm our blood. It will be painful, Nita. I hope you are prepared to pay the price. I'll do whatever it takes. Good. Go and gather four bloated livers from the rotting creatures out in the wilds. Worry not. I will take care of it. Anita is perfectly capable of handling this task. I wouldn't mind some company to keep an eye out while I work. Fine. Once you're done, meet me in the hidden glade east of here. She's a strict one though, but I like it. Alright! We could ask if she knew a, a Thaisa, but duh. It's a small swamp after all, right, you know. In a small, small world. Alright, go, come on. Do it. Take it. Don't judge Goliath too much. She's been good to me. I like her though, don't you worry about it. But yeah, we are trying to cure her schizophrenia with with some Magic though apparently right you know why not why not why not she hears voices all over the place Must be very annoying though right Can you imagine you hear voices that you actually can't stand to hear and I mean the tone of it Exactly But she expects me to accomplish things And it makes me feel like maybe I can Good good that is what you need though you need someone who motivates you a little bit and doesn't push you too, too far, too, too, too hard. But I don't think she would have managed here alone. She's so naive sounding, right? You know, and then with all the monsters here. Thank you for bringing my necklace back to me. Yeah. It was a gift for my mother. She still loves me. Deep down. Deep down. What's that supposed to mean, girl? I mean... <laughs> oh, she had a follow.
Uh, there's a recurring theme about these things too. It's like, you know, like the old few or in, unless it's the same rider, you know, like uh, I'm a mother's burden. You know, this is like the, the fifth quest line where we do help an NPC with not being a modest burden, right? You know, so that is kind of wild, man. Somebody's uh, having some therapy to dialogue here. That he did right or program one of the two. Anita, place the Let's enjoy the show. Ball. When you are ready, we will begin. Now, righty dog, Gulias. We are ready. Good. The right is simple. I will draw beasts here, and you will slay them near the altar until the bowl is filled. Anita, protect yourself the way I instructed you. Oh, I... Yes, Gulias. This might be hell on earth though right now because we have tendrils and we have everything, you know, so that's going to be rather interesting. Yeah, see what I mean though. <laughs> okay, there we have tendrils too, but oh we don't. We only have the AoE. I might actually have to de-summon them, you know, for a little bit. Well, 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 I've done some work out here, right, you know? Stretching my legs and everything in the meanwhile. It took quite a while, man. Anita, drink as much as you can from the bowl. All of it. Look at that, you though. You see? They engage in dark heresy. Brother! You... <laughs> what are you? What... What have you become? No! You're wrong! Goliath How has... dare you... <laughs> raise your voice to me! Her soul belongs to the demons now. Kill them all! Are we going to kill these innocent people? Yes, we are. This is your fault. You birthed that cursed creature. These deaths are on your head! <coughs> no! Die, witch! Stop! <laughs> yeah, some people just want to see blood. That's no. it, right? You know. Mother. Your daughter is a mage, by the way. I'm just saying, right? I met with the Tree of Whispers. Did you? I am impressed. I myself have not been in the tree's presence in some time. It must see a great potential, or more likely, a great value in you. Everybody does, darling. Everybody does! People only have to find me yet. <laughs> ah, like a diamond, though, right? You have to dig and dig and dig and dig and go deeper and deeper in the mines and all. Oh, yes. That's it, though. Let's first go over here. It's right around the corner, me boys. But yeah, diamonds are a rare find, though. Got a body over here. Got a body over here. Oh, sure is, big boy. It is so weird to have an automated build. The only thing that we have to press is actually A. But I could cheese it even more and make an explosion out of it too. If it makes... Oh, we already have, but you know, like a different one. It is something else, you know? Uh, it's just the ring that does everything for us. We only have to press A technically. And it's a strong build though. Big boy, Ervin, we should go. It isn't safe here. Thank the high heavens. I was starting to think someone might never come along. Yes, I, I believe I will be. If only I might rest a spell and get some food in me. Yeah. Come with me. Uh, a gracious. Statue of Lilith to the right, by the way. I'll do my best not to slow you down. There's a lot of them in the swamp, though. Says a lot about her, right? Being a swamp queen. 
Papa. Two out of three. We should have already had more though, but that's all right. And of course, you know, with this build, I only have to press X to help up speed everything up. But technically, we don't have to do anything. I just love it. I just love it. It's so weird, man, to play like this though. But it's it's unique. It's 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 fun. Unique to a lot of other games, though. That is. And here is another body and nothing from it. There we go. Alrighty. So we have done that. Let's go back over here. Nice little shield around us, right? You know, like a death zone. Although we don't need it. Oh. Budding Crimson Fawn. I don't know. We will find out. Yo, Pharaoh, what's wrong? Because he was born under a blood moon. Mother, listen. Stop. And she's dead. Wow. Poor girl. She died by knowing that her mother hated her, though. Aneta, I'm so sorry. It's not fair. I just wanted to help her. Anita, your mother was beyond anyone's help. Nothing I did ever changed how she saw me. I was just a cursed child to her. All the way to the end. My dear, you cannot save anyone who refuses change. Your mother decided who she was long before you were born. They're finally quiet. It's time for me to go. Just don't you hate humanity for it, though, right? You know. Ah, I think she will do some bad things in the future, though. Let's hope it's not uh, the case. Already gone. Yeah. You won't see her again. But she left you a letter. There, on the table. Alright. I'm sorry I wasn't able to say goodbye. The chorus of voices called to me. And I had to pass. I asked Goliath to return my mother's body to Zarbenzet. <laughs> she only protested a little. I don't know how to thank you enough. You protected me. A girl you barely knew. From danger so many times. I promise not to waste this chance you've given me. I know it's not much, but I want you to take this as a keepsake. Truly, thank you. You're welcome, though. You have a task for me. The cultists who infest this area believe that through rituals and sacrifice, they can be reborn as one of the Nangari. The notion is ridiculous, of course. The Nangari care nothing for worship, but... Perhaps an alchemical process. There is a powerful Nangari necromancer who lives in the Fens. Bring me the necrotic flesh of one of her minions and samples of snake poison. Sounds easy enough though, huh? Alright, necromancer against necromancer. We also want to go back over there. Here we are, here we are, Timur. Timur, can you tell me about this crimson herb? Oh, you shouldn't be touching things like this. Do you even know what this is? Unbelievable. Do you have no sense? Nope, not one bit. Well, perhaps he didn't recognize it. Most don't bother to consider how someone like me becomes like this. Not until it's too late. It's easier to think it a punishment for some imagined problem or some other such nonsense. 
Those who believe that do so for their own comfort. To distance themselves. To say that this could never happen to them. But we are all just one little thing. One moment. One little red sprig away from home. Remember that. And you will always have compassion. That is very true though. That is how I see things, right? You know, like death is just a second away, sadly. It's the truth though, right? You know, and a lot of things that are meant well actually do lead towards the path to hell. Or, you know, bad things are often meant in a way for some self-protection in an imaginary way, you know? Everybody has enemies though in their heads most of the time. It's difficult, man. Humanity is so fragile, though. It's so dumb at the same time. And beautiful, too. Here are the supplies. On behalf of Backwater, I thank you. I'll have to keep you in mind if anything new comes along. Yeah, you better watch your back from now on, though, huh? I know what you did there. The Greater Good. The Greater Good is always something that is always done on the backs of others. Now, where shall we go? Oh, there. Tomai. Listen in on conversation. All right, sweetheart. Work's all done. Oh, how'd your drunk ass manage that? And who is this you've dredged up now? Erwin, ma'am. Pleased to meet you. My ship was attacked just offshore. These two were kind enough to rescue me. Kind? <laughs> Tomai and... Hey, I've seen you before. You were the one floating around here earlier. Wait, I see now. You didn't do this alone, did you, Tomai? You hounded this one into doing the work for you. What? No, come on. I barely even noticed him there before. Honest. Enough out of you. Now you there, tell Sylvia the truth. <sighs> we don't owe her anything though, right? He's telling the truth. I didn't help him with his work. But we are not a liar though. We are not. And if he wants to impress her, and he lies about it, she will only suffer in the long end, right? You know, and vice versa. She has to work on her attitude, man, big time. But maybe she's just sick of his lies. Tomai is lying. I helped him with his work. I knew it. You're done, Tomai. Pack your bags. Wait, no. But I... Thank you, stranger. You should stick around. Meet the boss. We could use more people like you in backwater. Yeah, and don't come with the snitches get stitches <laughs> bullshit though, right? You know? Why would I be part of someone's schemes? You know? <laughs> it's the dumbest thing ever. Hmm. Interesting these guys down there. But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.